In this video, let's see how to use PCP command for data export as a CSV file. Let's open Google and search for the PCP command. It will take us to Microsoft page where you can find more details about PCP command and its syntax. Please spend some time here to understand more about PCP command and check all the options that we have as input parameters for BCP command. Copy the syntax into a notepad for our editing. There are many input parameters for BCP command. All these different parameters are useful at different use case scenarios. Please spend some time here and go through all the options before you use it. I'm choosing only the options related to my requirement. The first option is useful to specify database name dot schema dot table name or view or query. In my case, I'm going to use my query. So query is my option. And second option is to is for output file. Because I'm using query, the second option could would be query out data file path. then we don't need option for packet size and batch size hyphen small letter c is to specify the output data as character type and hyphen d is for database name i'm entering my database name that is wwi underscore dw and i'm removing all other options which are not related or required for my task please go through these options and if you need those options for your requirement please use if you would like to use sql server or azure active directory authentication then use hyphen u for username and hyphen p for password otherwise you can use hyphen capital letter t is for trusted connection for windows authentication login hyphen s is for server name hyphen small letter t is for delimiter if you notice the options are case sensitive so please be careful when you use it i am using only the few options that are required for the project Now let's prepare the script by passing values to these options as per our requirement. Enter output file path. So my output file path is F drive data extracts and the file name is my BCP command file name. As I want to run this as a direct command instead of passing as a file as input, the syntax must be formed as a single line. It should not have any new line characters because I would like to run the command through command prompt. It, it will not allow us to pass uh, a batch script like with new line characters in the command prompt. So let's stream our query as a single line. Once the query is ready, copy the query to option of BCP command and then make the script as single line.
I am saving this command for future reference. So now let's copy this script to command prompt and execute. So script executed successfully and 655 rows are copied. Now validate the output file, data and format, whether it's matching our expectation or not. So no header in the file. So let's try to resolve the issue. Use custom header line in front of the actual query as shown here. As every command follows their own syntax, BCP doesn't allow semicolon like SQL command allow. So we have to use union all here to combine two result sets. So as we are using union all, the number of columns and their data types must match between both the result set. So convert all these columns as character type. Update the BCP command with the new query. Make it a single line. And then update the BCP command with uh, this new query. And execute it again in command prompt. So execute it successfully. It should now give the output file as expected. We are now done with the data export using PCP command utility.